Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for C6H14, which is hexane. So here we go. We've got uh, C6H14, which is hexane, the chemical formula for hexane. So this gives us 6 carbons times 4 valence for each carbon plus 14 hydrogens plus or times one uh, valence for each hydrogen so that's going to give us a total of 38 valence electrons All right. so in most of my other videos for these organic compounds like this one I just show you the straight chain carbon ring or carbon uh, structure but just notice and take note that some of these organic compounds they can have a, a ring structure where it's not just a straight line of carbons, but they can form like a, a ring, like a circle connection of carbons, but I'm just showing you the, the, the uh, chain structure, so just keep that in mind. So these might not be the only possible Lewis structures for these compounds. Alright, but here's the straight chain structure. So carbons are the only atoms that, that could be the, the central atom in, in these compounds, because hydrogens can only bond once. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw the straight chain of six carbons. All right, and then now we have to add in the 14 hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fourteen. And then quite connect them all with single bonds. Because hydrogens can only bond, or have one bond, because they only hold two electrons. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and count out the electrons now, because there's six carbons and there's 14 hydrogens. So let's go ahead and count out the electrons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 bonds. 19 bonds times 2 electrons for each is going to be 38 electrons, which is what we have here. So that's exactly what we're looking for. All right. So now we can go ahead and check the uh, formal charges just to see that they're all going to um, work out nicely. Um, each carbon has the same setup. They all have four bonds around them, so this formal charge is going to apply to every carbon in this this uh, uh, Lewis structure here. So formal charge is valence brought in, which is four valence for each carbon, minus number of bonds, one, two, three, four, four bonds, minus number of non-bonding electrons, and there's none of those. They're all bonding, so it's going to be zero. So each formal charge for each carbon is going to be zero. Now we can check the formal charges for the um, hydrogens, and each hydrogen is the same setup, there's only one bond to it, so valence brought in is one, one minus number of bonds, one, minus number of non-bonding electrons, and there's none of those, so it's going to be zero overall, so that's what we're looking for, okay, and if you were to sum those up, that's going to give you an overall formal charge of zero, which is what you're looking for in a non-charged compound such as C6H14, okay, so now Looking at this, you might wonder what the shape is, and it's really hard to say the overall shape, but if you notice, each carbon has four bonding sites. So each carbon is going to be sp3 hybridized, okay? And that means that this overall molecule is going to be composed of one tetrahedral, two tetrahedrals, three tetrahedrals. There's a, a bunch of tetrahedrals kind of joining off of each other in an interesting way. So we have each of the carbons is going to be represented by a tetra, or not each of the carbons, but like the carbon will be the central atom for multiple different tetrahedral shapes. All right, and because of the hydrogens, there are this is a symmetric molecule, so every hydrogen will cancel each other out in terms of net dipole moment. So it's going to end up being a non polar molecule because all the carbons and all the hydrogens will cancel each other out leaving you no net dipole moment which means non-polar. Now uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments and if, you've, if you have any specific uh, requests I'll try to put it in a video just let me know and uh, thanks for watching.